everybody is half dead. Everybody avoids everybody. <laughs> What? Hey, man. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, bro, come on, man. DSJ Podcast, man. DSJ Podcast. How we doing, man? How we doing? Good God almighty. I hope all is well, man. hope all is well. I'm doing this by myself today because my co-host isn't here. He had to go do something else, man. He's focused on school, man. That's understandable. Like I said, I know how to do this by myself now. So, I'm comfortable with doing this by myself. But he did do something for me. He wanted me to do a list of things to talk about. So, he's still doing stuff. Y'all don't worry. He's still going to be here. Um, we're gonna be talking about a few things, man. A few things. We worked on a little something over here. I worked on a little something over here, man. What? Yeah, yeah. We got that. We got sounds now, man. We got sounds. I uh, hope that uh y'all enjoyed the last podcast. I know some people showed support. Thank all y'all for real for being the ones to share the podcast. You know, the ones that wants to be on the podcast. I had few people ask me. Um. Definitely, y'all will be on uh, Whatever y'all want to talk about, man uh, For sure uh, We want to make sure that, you know Also, thank you uh, So much for being just Just There for me And for my boy, um, bro You know, uh, for sure For everything we've done Whether that's our own respect for YouTube's or whether this is podcast, man, for sure. Um, with that being said, um, we gonna get into it. Um, we gotta do the old traditional scripture of the day. I kind of want to talk a little bit. Oh my my, the music cut off on me. Um, <laughs> I want to kind of talk about um the scripture of the day. Um, it's Isaiah forty one thirteen. For I, the Lord, your God, keep hold. Of your right hand I am the Lord Who says to you Do not fear I will help you So Never fear man Never fear The things that happens In life um, Everything's gonna happen For a reason Everything's gonna happen Because You know What would life be without it You know what I'm saying um, Life is always Gonna have its Tribulations And life is always Gonna have its Ups and downs But you got to be the one to fight it. Um, you can't just give up. Uh, don't ever give up. You know what I mean? Um, real talk. A lot of times we might just be wasting time on that one thing that might distract us. But we have so much other things we got to do uh, to distract us. Um, to not distract us, my bad. Um, but I appreciate, you know, the things, the negative things sometimes that may have happened because you learn a lot throughout it man and um sometimes it's just how it is um you know what i'm saying um just pray about it pray throughout all your troubles and make sure you you always keep a positive mindset throughout the um situations that may happen in life you know what i'm saying so we wanted to do something real quick We wanted to uh, I wanted to talk to y'all about something That's been going on You know, it's September 11th right now um, 9-11, man uh, We so sorry about, you know, the tragedies If you had, if your family had experienced that In 01, man We're so sorry about the tragedies And the loss, man You know, it's, it's a bad It's a rough day um, One of the roughest days in our history um, Definitely uh, we will be praying for you We pray for you man We pray for you We know we do um, Because you know It's a troubling time You know someone that could be In your in your family right now You know you, You're just not able to see them no more And like You know It's, it's one of the It's one of the toughest things it, it, I mean I don't even know how to explain it 
Um, but at the same time, just remember, like I said, just keep your faith in God and know that um, all is going to be well. You know what I'm saying? Um, the world could be troubling. The world could be troubling. But sometimes, like I said earlier, you got to let your troubles mold you and, and, and create you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know I maybe seem like I'm stuttering a lot, but it's not. Trust me. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm 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 comfortable. I'm very comfortable. Um, but you know what I'm saying. I know a lot of people might be like, "Man, why is he stuttering like this and that?" Because I can. That's why. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, but it's because, like I said, man, I'm not the best talker by myself. But I do. I am comfortable with what I do. Um, definitely something that I'm trying to grow in. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all may have podcasts too Y'all might have some time You know Where you might have to talk to yourself as well You know what I'm saying You talk to yourself in the mirror Um But yeah man Real quick Real quick Let's talk about blessings Let's talk about blessings Hey man You know your blessing Hey shout out to um Shout out to um Andre Shout out to Andre man yeah, man. Uh, yeah, you're a blessing, man. You're a blessing. I don't care what no one says, man. Look at yourself as a blessing because you made it far. You made it real far in life. And you can't let those things or those troubling things that come your way, can't let them distract you from your goals or for your blessings. I think I talked to my, talked to my pastor over the last uh, Saturday. We kept caught up on a lot of things And we're going to be talking about sports soon too Um, But we talked about some things man You know that kind of impacted me over this weekend uh, For sure Hope y'all had good weekends by the way Uh, Sports fans you know Alabama You want to talk about that You know coming from a Georgia fan You want to talk about that But (laughs) um, yeah man Uh, Hope y'all had good weekends man Um, Man yeah, I saw that. <laughs> uh, sometimes, yeah, your sometimes, man, your blessing is just right in front of you. And you may not know that, but the blessing is just right in front of you. Um, if you see that blessing, man, get that blessing. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste your time on the things that you want to do if that blessing is right in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to put your blessings first. I've always been asked. I've always I got I got asked this question recently. Are you willing to drop the things that you would do that you're doing now in order to chase that blessing? And I had to think about it because it's a deep conversation. It was a very deep conversation. Like, would you ever, like, let's say if you got all the money in the world, you got all the cars, all the fame, are you going to drop those things in order to find your blessing? Because you already got, it look like you already got the blessing from having all that money and all that, you know, all that gold, you know what I'm saying? But, there's a real blessing. There's something better than money, better than money, I mean, better than power, better than everything that you can think of and imagine. And one thing I will say is um, God is good, man. God's going to show me and you many blessings. You know, that's a new sound uh, sound bar, by the way. Um, but, yeah, man, being a blessing, finding that blessing. Are you gonna help someone bless someone? I mean, how you going are you going to help someone else find their blessing? I know a lot of people are selfish and a lot of people nowadays will try to make it seem like you can do everything yourself, which you can't. You need people in your life in order to grow as well. But are you willing to find that blessing? And if you are willing to find that blessing, you know what I'm saying, what are you trying to do, you know, to grow that blessing? You know what I'm saying? What's going? What is it going to take? And whatever it does take, keep doing it. Keep doing it to grow that blessing a lot more around you. And with that being said, just remember that you are the blessing. You know what I'm saying? Look up. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that. You know, a lot of times we tend to hold on to our problems and we tend to hold on to the things that we can't control. And like I said. You just have to case. You just have to stay motivated and focused 
on the things that you want to do in your life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing music right now just because I know this is something that needs to be said. But it'll be it'll be some music played back on it. We didn't change nothing. We didn't change no format. But just wanting y'all to know, man, because there's a there's a lot that goes on around here. There's a lot that goes on in the mind. Yep, in the body and spirit too. Um, but find that blessing, man. And when you find it, you know, keep some of it to yourself, but be a blessing to the other to the other people that's around you as well. Um, for sure. And I want y'all to know, like I said, like I tell you all the time, this is not a persona. This is real life, for real. I love y'all. I love y'all. I really do because, like I said, that's just how I am. I know I had an uh, old girl. I had a, a buddy that told me um, about this one situation that happened where someone keeps talking to them about how nice I am, like me personally, about how I am and you know what I'm saying? I hope, man, you know, that's a blessing to hear for myself because I, that's my goal, you know, just to be the blessing that I can be to other people and to myself, of course. And, um, you know, like I said, um, it's nothing like being that blessing. It's nothing like showing the blessing to other people so that they can spread the blessing to other people as well. And also, like I said, blessings overflow, man. Blessings do overflow. So the next day, let's say this right, the next day, I mean, you may do something for somebody else. The next day, they may give you a whole thing of, let's say, they may give you a a whole thing for Starbucks. Like, they may go grab you a a cappuccino, not a cappuccino, um, a frappuccino. (laughs) It used to be my dog name when I was living in Gaston. Um, But, yeah, um, just being that blessing. Um, we all have we all have a blessing. We all have a blessing in some way, some form. But the thing is, are you gonna allow yourself to be blessed? Are you gonna allow your blessing to grow? And when you have that blessing, are you gonna allow it to control you, or like an idol? Or are you gonna have it idol you, or are you going to get out of that? Nah, what am I saying? Are you gonna allow yourself to grow? <laughs> are you gonna allow your blessing to grow? Allow your blessing to be the focus of your life or are you going to allow something materialistic to be the thing that allows you to, to decline slowly? All I'm saying is this, at the end of the day, just remember... Remember you're blessed because everyone is blessed in their own right, in their own way. Even the nastiest, the the most dirtiest people can be having a blessing. And at the same time, use your blessing and be the blessing to those that is, that is around you. With that being said, man, stay blessed. Um, We're going to talk about some sports real quick. Uh, I know a lot of times, let me put it back on the music. I know uh, y'all been, y'all probably like man he talking too much. I know how y'all how y'all young bucks are. Uh, it's one hold on real quick. I was about to get myself in trouble. <laughs> Dog going it that thing that thing said it was sold. <laughs> that that beat said it was sold. You know, so I got to put on something that doesn't have something sold. Um, but we gonna talk about some sports real quick. And uh, it's going ESPN real quick. I'm not gonna talk about every game. I'm not gonna talk about every every uh, sport or everything that happened yesterday or Saturday. Um, dang. Sorry, the music just cut off on me. Uh, but we gonna talk about the most important games of the week. Um, and I'm gonna be biased because I know I'm a Georgia fan and a Baltimore slash Cowboy Dallas Cowboy fan. So. Uh, we're gonna talk about some football. We're gonna talk about some games that we thought um, was good at our end. Well, I'm the one talking to you about it. So, um, talk about some stuff that me and Roland had a conversation on. So, I'm just gonna talk to y'all about it, my personally. Um, the Baylor Utah game that was crazy. Um, the comeback they had to get. Um, the score was 2013, but that score, it's, it, that score, 
it's deceiving. It's really deceiving because uh, they had to come back to beat Baylor in the last three minutes of the game. Um, and it was like, it was insane. No, um, and I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't watch the games. I didn't watch none of the games. Uh, but I do watch the highlights um, because, like I said, I'm a Georgia fan. So I'm going to watch the Georgia game first before I watch any other game. You know what I'm saying? Um, speaking of Georgia, though, we put a tail whipping on, it, on Ball State at 42 to by 42 points, man. Uh, 45 to three. Um, that offense need to do something in the first quarter, man. They they gotta get better in the first quarter. Cause uh, South Carolina ain't gonna South Carolina better than Ball State and doggone UT Martin. So we gotta do better. But that um, Colorado, man, Colorado legit. They might be legit. Y'all better stop hating on uh, Dion, man. They, you better stop hating on Dion. Y'all better stop hating on me. Y'all better stop hating on my name. Hell yeah, you better stop hating my name. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people are uh, kind of hating how he's uh, talking in the media, but I mean, y'all doubted him his whole time, man. He let him speak. Now when he speaks, y'all going to say he's going to lose to Oregon. We expect him to lose to Oregon. But at the same time, I don't think that, you know, since Oregon had kind of struggled last week, I don't think Oregon is like that. It's like, it's like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, how crazy would that be if Oregon beats uh, Oregon loses to Colorado? How crazy would that be? Um, what other games? It's more, most big time. Oh yeah, the Alabama Texas game. I ain't get. I ain't. I ain't forgetting y'all. I ain't forgetting about y'all jackals. How um Georgia fans call them? They call them Gumps, man. <laughs> they call them Gumps. Uh, yeah, y'all got smacked. Y'all need to uh, probably change your quarterback, man, because that guy is a... Yeah, that guy's a trash can. That guy's a trash can. I'm sorry. I might I might need to kind of back off. I, I, I am a Georgia fan, and I do not like Alabama. But one thing I will say, bro, y'all quarterback, he's just he's just a running back. He's just a running back in a quarterback, uh, quarterback position. That guy can't, can't keep running out of the pocket. He keeps throwing it. It coverage I'm like Yo this guy is Garbino And then Alabama fans Will be like man Well we didn't block Nope It's your quarterback's uh, Problem too I know they can't block But at the same time It's your quarterback's Responsibility To get To get something happen That guy Kept running All doggone game Kept running Everywhere Northeast South and West Um It was funny to me Only cause Like I said Man I was having fun with it um i was having real fun with uh just enjoying just enjoying alabama getting beaten up you know what i'm saying um i wasn't able to celebrate the way i want to only because i've been uh i was bothered by someone that was uh going crazy on the phone with me uh but it's all good man like i said it's nothing like seeing a good old shellacking of a beat down from uh Texas beating down on uh, Alabama. Talk about Clemson real quick. Man, Clemson, uh, they got to do better, man. Dabo, I think I think it's like this, man. The generation, the generation of coaches, they start to get on a steady decline. Like 10 years ago, man, Dabo, Dabo were killing teams, man. Dabo and Nick Saban, they were killing teams. Now it's more like not biased, but Georgia and right now USC and and, and they're young coaches. You know what I'm saying young coaches are starting to become more of a of, of the factors that is why teams are winning national championships. Um, Nick Saban. Now Dabo was still young, kind of kind of young still, but at the same time, he been there since like was it oh oh eight I believe oh eight oh seven. I'm not trying to be wrong. Don't correct me if I'm if I'm you know wrong. Correct me in the comment section, but don't think I know every Clemson where everybody does or everybody's coaching all that. No, nah, I nah, don't. But at the same time, man, I hope that uh you know some way or somehow Clemson steps it back up because you know they talking about hey man Clemson fans talk talking reckless right now like they saying like hey man we probably need Dabo to Dabo. I well not even Clemson fans like. A lot of fans, a lot of just football fans, just like, hey man, they they probably gonna fire Dabo. They ain't firing Dabo. 
Because if they go to Dabo, because Dabo, if he fired, if they got fired, right, who they going to go to? Who they going to go to? Like, they can't. They ain't got Venables here in Oklahoma. None of them guys on that on that offensive line, on that offensive, no offensive line coach. None of them coaches on that doggone sideline, I don't think they could bring Clemson to no winning season. You know what I'm saying? Dabo's the only one that I could see, like, hey, man, even if they go – Eight and four or something like that. They still they still won eight games. You know what I'm saying? Um man, it, it's a tough world right now. Not for me, but for but for college football fans all over because who else lost? Who else lost last week? They shouldn't have lost at least. But we got better losing a dog on Texas State. That's the that's the first game. That was the first week. We got who 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 else lost, man? Dog on uh Dog on uh, what's that? Dog on Louisville coming back to beat Georgia Tech the first week of the uh, season. Uh, well that's Georgia Tech though, cause you know what I'm saying they trash anyway. But um, let me see, I'm looking at it right now. Got dog on. Well, hold on, hold on real quick. Appalachian State should have won that game versus uh versus North Carolina. And I'm not saying, and we're not talking bad about Appalachian State, cause they they are real, they real legit, they legit, they legit. Because they lost the game they, they still legit though For real um, I'm looking around right, right now um, Trying to see Again Oregon almost lost to Texas Tech So I don't really think Oregon's like that I really don't um, Who else 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 I'm looking at it right now Looking at it right now Uh Man, got team scoring 70 points too. Like, golly. What was it? Last week they had like 14 score like 70 plus. This week they they have uh about four or five. It's insane. Uh not four or five. They had like two or three. Let's see. Yeah, only one. Two. They had two. Yeah, they had two teams score 70. I'm like, man, that is insane. That's insane. Really insane. But, yeah, at least college football is back. Let's not lie. At least college football is back. Um, But, <laughs> man, I got to go on break real quick. But, uh, DSJ, stick with me, man. We're going to try to We're trying man We're trying We're trying I know that I may not sound like the best I mean sound like I'm stuttering But we're trying our best man Sometimes in this Hot box of a doggone office uh, Or room You know what I'm saying It does tend to Mess with the mental a little bit Cause um Like I said Y'all y'all know my story a little bit So it tends to mess with me a little bit Um But we ain't gonna allow that to affect us at all, man. We're gonna grind, keep grinding. We're gonna keep on staying focused. And again, we're gonna keep on staying blessed. So that being said, man, DSJ, we're back in a little minute. DSJ Podcast, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all enjoying so far. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And always. Stay blessed.
DJ Podcast, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all enjoy it so far. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And always stay blessed. What? Man, <laughs> he's something special, man. He's something special. Um, but yeah, man, we back. I've asked some people some questions on my uh, Snapchat to see if anything, and we're uh, gonna see. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, we want to um, want to basically talk about some things that's gonna. Sorry if I sound stuttering. I'm um, just reading an email from my teacher about a quiz I was supposed to do. Um, but yeah, uh, that guy, that guy was uh, not wanting to answer the doggone thing. He waited for an hour. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the NFL real quick because uh, that's one thing I want to leave y'all with after um, we're done talking about this. And let's see if any, if they answer before. If not, then I'll answer it on the next podcast. So, it's not like it's the end of the world if we don't get it. But, right now, let's talk about the NFL. Um, the NFL is back, for sure. Um, I need y'all to answer this in the comment section below. Hopefully, if, you, if you're listening this far in, hopefully, which rookie stand out to you? Um, I can say Jordan Addison, uh, he, he had a touchdown yesterday. Jose, he had 78 yards yesterday. Um, I really don't know. I really don't know all the other receivers. I can look at it real quick. Hold on. Let's see the charges. Quentin Johnson, did he, did he play a game today or oh, yesterday? Because I know uh, that guy uh, from TCU, he's a rookie. So I need to see if he uh, Keenan Allen had 76 yards yesterday. So I think he 
might have less than that. Uh, no, that's the Miami team. Speaking of Tyreek Hill, he's he's not he if he's not top two receiver, uh, he might be number one. If he if he's not top two, he's probably number one. You you can you can debate whether that's Justin Jefferson number one, whether that's Devontae number one. Even if you want to say DeAndre is number one, now, Tyreek Tyreek is not is top two. He he has to be top two. That guy is is in his thirties and he's still run out blazing people like that. In his thirties and he's still out blazing people like that. It's crazy. Like he like this two will unthrow him in some passes. This guy catches the ball. I'm seeing like bro, this lockhead on the left side, on his right side. It's crazy, man. He just was burning. He burnt everybody on that team. And it's like, bro, even the four two guys, even the four two cornerbacks that might run with him, he can't run. They can't run with him. Like his speed is really four. It's really four two. That's real four two speed. I mean, I'm not saying he's Randy Moss, but that's like <laughs> he's Randy Moss out there. Like no lie, with speed, of course, speed. Let's not say I'm not saying all around, but speed. He's Randy Moss out there. No lie. Um. Tyreek Hill is different, bro. He he really is different. He is really different, man. It's crazy how it's crazy how fast a man can run. It's really crazy how fast a man can run. And how much impact he has on these teams, man. I mean, everyone was doubting him just a year ago saying, hey, man, he got Tua. Tua has a noodle arm. Tua can't do this. Tua can't do that. He can't stay healthy. Man, that guy, Tua, Tua, man. 466 yards passing up the last yesterday. Guy came back like he never left. Like, no lie. Came back like he never left. Like, it's, it's insane how fast these guys can run in the NFL. Especially Tyreek Hill, bro. He's in, it's like, he's like almost 30 years old. If not 30, he's almost 30 years old. It's insane. It is really insane out here. But, man. I guess when you nickname Cheetah, you can do whatever you want to do, right? <laughs> Yo, boy, I was talking about a dog fighting Michael Vick. Man, that that guy's a criminal, man. That guy's a criminal. That guy's a really a criminal. Hmm. Oh, my, my. Um, that being said, though, yeah, man, uh... I can I can straight up talk to you about the Ravens Houston game. We expected that. We expected to beat them like that. Um, of course I didn't watch the game, but definitely uh, the toughest. The beatdown is insane. The beatdown was uh, insane. Like I said, Zay Flowers had a good game for his first game. Um, Odell looked good, um, even though he had like two catches. That's gonna be it. Um, oh, Odell, my bad, my bad people, my bad people. I was just looking at something on my phone. Uh, Odell, man, Odell, he, uh, he had two catches, 36 yards, I believe. Um, I think, but he had like a long strike for them to get in like. I think he, they scored that drive. They had a long strike to score that drive. Um, looks real good out there. Um, still, still probably got some work he needs to do. But yeah, man, he got a, he got to do, got a, he got a good, he did good for his uh, part uh, for sure. Um, Lamar Jackson, 166 yards and a touchdown. I think a pick as well. He got to do something, man. Yeah, Lamar, he got a. He gotta, he gotta be more accurate. Uh, I'm be real. He gotta be more accurate. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Ravens fan, but that guy gotta be more accurate. I'm telling you, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of opportunities for Lamar, man. If he wants to be looked at as a passer, he gotta, he gotta be more accurate. Cause I bet, I bet he's tired of being called a running back. You know what I'm saying? I bet he's tired of being called a running back. And with that being said, like you can run. Yes, we know you can run. But passing, yeah, you gonna need to work. You gonna need to work on that because yeah, we seen you. We seen you get 
300 uh, passing 300 passing yards in the game. We've seen that. At the same time, though, you got to stay consistent. You can't be just having, and this is the same for Dak. I'm a Capitol fan, too. You can't just be having no 166 yards passing against Houston, at least. Against Houston. Dak, at least on his end, he can't, uh, his defense did everything for him. Defense did everything for him. Um, I think Dak, I think, I think the people that was talking reckless yesterday saying like, hey, Daniel Jones is better than Dak. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all just, are just cowboy haters and just don't know what y'all talking about. Like, let's be real. A lot of y'all just don't know how to, how to think about a game because y'all, people, all people want to do is just hate on a team. Because they call Because their nickname Is America's team That's it Outside of that I bet I, Let me say it like this If the Patriots If the Patriots Didn't have Tom Brady And the Patriots did, Only had um, Was named The America's team Which, which would kind of Make more sense Because they're Patriots Like And we're Cowboys Like what, what, what's a Cowboy Gonna do The Patriots like, You know what I'm saying um, But I mean Man the hate and disrespect that the Cowboys get to say Daniel Jones is better than Dak. I don't care what nobody says, man. I don't care what nobody says. You you mean to tell me you're gonna have to tell you gonna have to show me otherwise. You're gonna have to show me some film in order to see that. Yeah, he can run better than he can run better than Dak. But man, outside of that, nah, nah. That guy that guy gets lucky almost every year. And to be honest, I don't know why in what was it, that draft, that twenty eighteen draft. I don't know why that fool was picked up number one or uh, number six. But they could have got the Josh Allen from uh, Jacksonville. That was crazy. Even then, that's you still would have to get a QB. Um, yeah, Stafford. Uh, yeah, Matthew Stafford. A brother from Georgia. A man that won a Super Bowl. And a lot of people call him mediocre, which I find that it was just because it was Detroit. But, man, speaking of Detroit, we're going to talk about them a little bit. Uh, yeah, Stafford looks great. Stafford had, let me look on ESPN. The music might cut off on me uh, just because it doesn't want to transition. Never mind. You stay on that then. Uh, yeah, Stafford, man. Stafford look good. Uh yeah, what well, who was that one guy that he had like he had like 119 yards, man. That guy was going crazy on him. Um I'm looking at it right now as we speak. Uh yeah, he had 334 yards. He didn't throw no touchdowns, but 334 yards is is good. It's good. 22 Atwell had 119 yards as well, and then there's this other guy that had like 10 receptions. Oh my gosh. Puka Nakua. Puka Nakua. 19 10 catches 119 yards He dropped 5 passes He Yeah he dope He dope He dope Straight up Straight up dope Now of course This is one game now. We're not Not gonna not gonna hate Not hating This is one game But at the same time He's a dope I said it again My bad Wrong one What Bro, what are you talking about, man? He's a dog. He's a dog. I don't care what nobody says. He's a dog. Now, see, one game, of course, yeah, we we seen people get one games and they still could be trash. Not calling him trash. I don't think players that made this some made something. You could be in the FIBA league, man. If you made the FIBA league and not trash, you just not better than most players. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, this dude made the league. He's an undrafted rookie too, by the way. As we speak um, But yeah Stafford might have him A little weapon And this is, with, this is Without Cooper Cup now This is without Cooper Cup So This team looks real good I know this is Seattle I know Seattle um, I know Bobby had like 19 tackles Bobby had 19 tackles Yeah he had 19 tackles I mean that guy was insane That guy Seattle missed him Seattle missed him Um Definitely missed him. Um, but yeah, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to listen to the conversation they were talking about. But yeah, man. Staff is a dog, bro. Staff is a dog. Um, let's talk about the Packers, man. The Packers, man. That, that Packers killed them. them. Them Packers had a field day. Aaron Jones, I think, had a field day on him. 
Aaron Jones, I know, had a field day on him. I mean, good golly. How many? He had two receptions for 86 yards and a touchdown. Nine carries for 41 yards and a touchdown. I know y'all going to be like, man, that's not really good. That's not really good. But it, it it's the, it's the, it's the, like he had all purpose, 127 yards and two touchdowns. All purpose. Now, see, that's a good. That's a good. Um, the thing about it, sadly, let's just be real. They're going to talk bad about Justin Fields. I don't think he, I don't think he should be talked about as bad as he does. It might be Georgia bias. It might be because I'm thinking like he's in Chicago. But let's talk about it. Like, how do y'all feel about Justin Fields? Real talk. Like, we need to talk about it because, like I said, Justin Fields. I don't think he's a bust. I don't. I don't think he's a bust yet. Yet I said. But I think if he were to go to, let's say, if he were to go to. A let me see if um if you were to go to a I'm not gonna say Washington I'm gonna say someone like a little bit better if he would go to New York I think he would do better there I think he would do better there than than being with Chicago and because look you got Waller you got Waller you got Hyatt which I told y'all. What was a, a couple podcasts ago? I told you high ain't like that. I ain't high ain't like that. I told I told y'all that. Y'all thought people thought I was hating. Nope. He ain't like that. He just runs four or five routes at Tennessee. He had no catches yesterday, by the way. Just saying though, you know, this is not Georgia bias, but I'm just saying, you know, for the ones that think that high it's real good. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um But yeah, man, uh, Justin Fields, I feel bad for that fella, man. I feel like if he was in a better position, if he was at a better team, he would, he would be looked at as one of the good greats. Not one of the greats in the league, but one of the like he'll be he would looked at it way better than he is now, only because he's in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? We all we all gonna know he's gonna have probably a thousand yards rushing this year. Cause that O line ain't, ain't ain't good. That O line is abysmal. Um But yeah, man, for sure. Like um, we have to, we have to just, we just have to kind of give it, give it this, give it one more year, give it one more year for Justin Fields, and then we'll see, we'll see how he goes. Like no lie. Um, with that being said, we're gonna talk about the Steelers versus San Francisco. Rock party. Uh, I think, uh, I think we just realized I'm, this, and we're not. I'm not the type to say this. Pat Pete, I love you. I love you. Trust me. I know you're not gonna hear this podcast, but I love you. But you, 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 you gotta know. You gotta know when you gotta talk. You gotta know when to talk. And then you also gotta know when to back it up. And I know we backed it up your last 12, 13 years in the league. But brother, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. You can't just be talking, man. Brock Purdy. That that's that's a real dog. That's a real dog out there. Yeah, I know a lot of people probably thought he was going to drop off because, you know what I'm saying, it's probably a lucky year or Brock Purdy is overrated because he has George Kittle and all that. No. I mean, look, real talk, we can we can we can talk about this all the time. You need you need you need a tight end. Well, let's go back to the Chiefs, man. The Chiefs, they lost. Imagine if they had Travis Kelsey. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if he had a receiver. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against Rasheed Rice. Nothing against um, those guys in the in the sidelines. If yes, nothing nothing against them. But it's like, I mean, Debo Samuel. Uh, who else? Uh, George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey, your running back who can catch. I mean, great day in the morning. Yeah, are you? Man, Brandon Ayuk might be like, might be like that this year. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, uh, he might be, he might be a top fifteen receiver in the league, top fifteen receiver in the league this year. Like, let's not lie. I think, I think he has some, he has some, he has some strides. I mean, Ayuk yesterday had a field day with Patrick Peterson. I'm sorry, he had a field day with Patrick Peterson. 
it was insane. And and the fact that was, I mean, he's a great. I mean, I, underrated route runner, underrated route runner, a very underrated route runner. I, I mean, route runner. I mean, I'm glad the NFL. I know the NFL will always have clips where uh, you can juke and all that. They're gonna show clips of them juking and all that. But I mean, great day in the morning. Like that. I mean, that team. The teams. The IU is like that. Ayuk is like that, and also, I mean, how to stop that offense? That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. When your running back is going over 160 yards and having uh, two touchdowns, catching. Let me look at it. Let me look at it while I talk. Uh, I mean, great day in the morning. Great day in the morning. Morning. Um, where is it at? 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 Oh, there you go. There you go. I mean, Brock Purdy had, let's see. He had um, 220 yards, two touchdowns. Chris McCaffrey, 22 yards. I mean, 22 uh, carries, 152 yards, and a touchdown. Ayuk right, had eight catches. I think he caught all his passes. Caught all his passes. 129 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, he caught all his targets. Debo had 55. Kittle, Kittle didn't even have a good game. Kittle didn't even have a good game, and he's still and he's still cooked, man. It's crazy. Chris McCaffrey had 17 yards uh, receiving. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they got to they got to do something, man. Pick it, pick it. Don't look like it. Pick it. Don't look like it. I mean, he had 31, 46, 232 yards and. I need them to. I need them I, as a Georgia fan. I ain't gonna lie. I need them to throw the pickets, man. I know Pickens can't separate, but man, we got we, we got to do something there because I feel like, Allen, yeah, Allen Robinson. Yeah, you can say Allen Robinson. Yeah, he good. You can say Deontay Johnson is, is starting to grow, and but at the same time, man, I feel like you you should depend on you need to depend on your other receivers more. Like I said, man. Pickens, Pickens, you you can we can tell you how Pickens is. He just dogging people. I, I you know what? Speaking of rookies, Joey Porter had a tackle yesterday. He just had one tackle yesterday. I mean, we got to do. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to find something to do. Um, and Najee, are y'all off the Najee train, or y'all still on it? I'm not. I'm not. I. I really didn't care. I don't really don't care how, what Najee does. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Real quick, we are gonna talk about one other game. Oh yeah, the Browns, man. The Browns. The Browns. The Browns. The Browns. Deshaun Watson. I know y'all. I know how much y'all hate him. I know how much y'all hate him. But Deshaun Watson looks real good. He looks real good. I mean, he looked like he looks. Sim- he looks similar to Houston Like a little bit I'm not going to say a lot But a little bit He looks similar to Houston I mean that boy That boy had a game Of course you know the best running back I'm going to say it The best running back in the league Nick Chubb had, oh, He's going to have his 100 18 carries for 106 yards They locked down uh, Jamar Chase I mean he caught He was pissed off He was like man I caught them elves and Doug on lost to the Ills. I said, great day in the morning. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. <laughs> Sorry for that. Golly, DSJ. 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 What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> oh my gosh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, you you goon. I hope he didn't catch that, but he didn't catch that. YouTube, please don't, please don't get on us. You know, we just wanna, we just wanna, we just, we just wanna have fun. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, uh, Deshaun Watson had a good game. Um, had a pick though. Let's not lie. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna do one more game. We're gonna do one more game. Let's look at the list. We're gonna look at one more. Like I said, man, we already talked about Tua. We already talked about Tyreek Hill. So I can't I can't really talk about them again. 
But let's just say that Miami Los Angeles game was was uh, uh, was was a good game. Was a great game. Um, we gonna talk about one more though. I don't want to talk about the Eagles. The Eagles, Eagles. Uh, uh, Tampa Bay, Minnesota. Let's talk about Tampa Bay, Minnesota. This now, nah, this is why I say this. This is why I say this. It's because y'all gonna be y'all. Y'all already know y'all gonna have that debate. Number one, number two receiver. In, in some of y'all's eyes Justin Jefferson 150 yards And I think he had No he had just had 150 yards And Nine receptions I thought he was going to be the best receiver this week uh, Clearly I'm not saying he's better than Tyreek I mean, I'm not saying Tyreek Hill is better than Justin Jefferson Y'all can have that debate But at the same time What I will say Man, either which way, man, they both number one or number two in their own respective rights. But Kirk Cousins, man, you see, he has big games. He has big net passing numbers, but then he doesn't really do nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? Like he, 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 he literally will have a great game. Like 344 yards passing is a great game, but then they'll go in and he'll have. Only 17 points. Now, how the hell do you only have 17 points? I'm trying to see if this is not. Okay, I was trying to make sure this beat wasn't a guy rapping because I'll have to switch it. Um, But, yeah, man. Mike Evans might be a last time Buccaneer this year. Um, I know they didn't pay him on the deadline, so he, he, already, he already probably got some things planned. After this year But as long as he gets His thousand yards again He's gonna have 11,000 10,000 or 11,000 yards already So Yeah man Tampa Bay Minnesota Kirk Cousins Doing Kirk Cousins things And Let's see how Baker Mayfield does Um That being said Let's Talk about something real quick Uh Let me go on a break real quick With that being said man DSJ Podcast We'll be back in a minute. Dear Shay Podcast, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all enjoying so far. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And always stay blessed. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man?
DJ Podcast, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all enjoying so far. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And always stay blessed. What's up? It's DSJ Podcast, man. It just had to play a little snippet of something. Hey, you will rest. And you will rest in pain. Hey, man. They should rest in peace. Nothing like death. Nothing deadly. Man, make sure to get that rest. We going to get into the last thing of the podcast. Let's talk about some motivation to end this week. End your week on a great note, man. End your great week on a great note, man. Make sure to stay positive throughout your journey. And when you do fail, remember, keep your head up. Because you never know when life comes around. And when you may have to learn from a mistake. We all have mistakes. And just remember this, man. You know, everything happens for a reason. Don't ever feel like you're alone in this battle, man. The battle is not yours, but the Lord's, man. Remember that. I want you to know this. That, uh... Crack a smile on your face. You know, not everything's gonna happen your way. Um... It's so grateful to see people that I know every day. I know I'm grateful to enjoy things and to... See how life is, you know, uh, with me and with my crew. And uh, I've enjoyed so many things throughout this life, uh, throughout this uh, journey. And uh, you know I had to hit y'all with this again. You know I had to hit y'all with this again. I know y'all didn't hear us um, last time, but you know I had to hit y'all with this beat again. Uh, I think this is be this will be my ending beat. Um but yeah, man. Um, for sure, bro. I thank y'all so much um, for giving me this opportunity to do the things that I love the most. And this is my opportunity, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I could talk to y'all all day about some things, about what's going on around me, what's going on around my crew. But I know y'all ain't going to hear it. Uh, all of it, at least. Um, I'm so grateful that uh, people want to be on the podcast. Eventually, we'll have people back on the podcast. Uh, we'll have to see who or when or where or why 
Um, but definitely when it does happen, we are going to have a joy of a podcast, man. Going pretty, boy. Let me stop. <laughs> We're going to have a joy of a podcast, man. Uh, I hope that y'all enjoy, man. I know I'm not the best speaker, like I said. I hope that y'all, you know, stay motivated, stay grinding, man. Stay focused, man. What you about to eat tonight? Let me ask you that question. Let me stop. Man, I hopefully, 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 hopefully we'll find some way to eat. Um, some good food and, you know, just stay positive. Throughout my midst of a storm and through without my storm, man. That's the best thing about life, man. You just got to meditate, slow down, and sometimes self-heal. Ain't nothing wrong with self-healing. Self-healing is the best thing to ever happen. In our, all of our lives, man, we have to do something in order for us to grow. Uh, all of us to mold and mix. And uh, I just hope that people see this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully, we can get uh, this podcast to pop a lot more. Thank you for the people that watched our recent podcast. Um, yeah, about 57 people. But you know what I'm saying? 57 is better than nothing. Um, and yeah, like I said, man. It's all good in the hood uh, Nothing better than to enjoy Something that you are building And yeah, it might be taking slow It might take slow, it might take long But with that being said, man Podcast going pretty, boy. Stop. <laughs> Podcast, man <sighs> I need y'all to pray for my boy, bro I need y'all to pray for me I need y'all to pray for everybody, man Pray for you Pray for life. Pray for life to be better in all our hearts, man, and all our souls. You know, I pray that, you know, everyone have a great day. Everyone has a great week. You know, we will be back soon. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. I'm just toying around with this thing here. Um, that being said, I just hope that all is well, man. Hopefully... We'll have people here soon. And with that being said, DSJ, love y'all. Remember, remember one thing. Remember one thing. Remember that you're... Remember that you're blessed. So, with that being said, DSJ, we're out. Love y'all. See y'all soon. DSJ Podcast, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all enjoying so far. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And always stay blessed.